Dear students, good morning. My name is Dr. Ram Babu. I teach at Law Excellence IAS Academy, Polity, Public Administration and Current Affairs. Today, we are going to talk about uh, NCERT textbooks and their relevance for civil services. These are beautifully designed textbooks. What was the objective when National Curriculum Framework uh, was designing these particular textbooks? Uh, they wanted to make understanding to the students very simple and they want to mix their understanding, textbook understanding with the social, political and economic life outside the textbook. So there is a continuum between theory what they learn in the classroom and experiences they see outside the classroom. And second, whatever the explanations given, these are very lucid. And also they gave certain exercises like discuss, certain cartoons to understand and certain scenarios and case studies to push a point to your mind. So if you do these exercises, you develop a different mind than what you possess now. What is the biggest problem of the students preparing for civil services? I am into this teaching for the past 12 years. In this teaching, Many of the students from the science background comes for coaching. Many of them are doctors, engineers, few of them from IITs, few of them from IIMs. In spite of having such a successful, strong academic record, very few people clear the examination. It was always surprising for me what made these students not to clear the exam. When I understand, when I look into that, the biggest flaw in them is their writing skill. Most of you might be facing the similar challenge. So, writing something lucid, simple, understandable is becoming very difficult. In this internet age and speedy communication age, writing something meaningful with a pen on a paper has become a thing of past. How many of you wrote something meaningful in this year? almost zero. Other than exams, writing has become redundant in our lives. But this examination leads, this examination perfectly needs those skills, that is writing skills. So our foundation for these writing skills comes from these NCERT textbooks. Using the day-to-day -day language to express critical thoughts and enlarging the scope of your thinking are essential. Second, a mind of science, a mind of social sciences is different. A mathematical student always thinks with certainty 1 plus 1 is equivalent to 2. In social sciences, we cannot say everything with certainty. Let's talk about some historical point. Colonial period, Indian narrative of colonial period will be different. And British narrative of colonial period of India is different. British try to glorify saying that they taught us the civilization and culture. Indian says that our civilization was crashed because of the British element. So everyone has their own side of the truth. So social sciences, certainty is almost absent. 1 plus 1 is equivalent to 2 may not be the case with social sciences. So in social sciences, more than certainty, we go for perspectives. What are the different perspectives and reason towards that perspective? And we try to rationalize the things through arguments. So this is what we have in social sciences. It means a science student has to change the way he thinks to understand the social sciences. If this shift has to happen, the most important source which is there before us is NCERT. And a lot of hard work is done, as I said to you before, in crafting these books. I am not saying in writing these books, in crafting these books. So they did uh, a craft work so perfectly and they wanted to put a simple point uh, in such a way that certain constitutional values are created into our minds importance of diversity, how beautifully it was explained, importance of the economic production in an uh, economic life, 
reducing inequalities and how discrimination will affect a particular personality. So these are all beautifully explained. So many a times what the prejudices we build in our minds over years, they can be overcome through reading of these particular textbooks. Now, so let us start few slides to understand these textbooks purely from the perspective of UPSC. Now, UPSC has given a clear syllabus. Many of the times students read textbooks, big textbooks. But the foundation for understanding these textbooks, coaching, are to take up various tests that starts with NCERT. So the syllabus of UPSC exam and the NCERT textbooks, they are correlated with each other. What do I mean by that? The syllabus is drafted in a way from the NCERT textbook. So the prelims and main syllabus, let's talk about them various ideals of the Indian constitution like secularism, democracy, all these syllabus, these are actually dealt from the basics in the NCRT textbooks. So surprisingly, 30 to 40 percent of the questions directly or indirectly every year is related to these NCRT textbooks which we will see soon. So first my point is, there is a direct connection between syllabus of UPSC and the NCERT textbooks. So, if you go for polity, social and political life, one and two. These talk about how our society and political system is built. And the next, social and political life, three, it takes that into further depth, where they talk about various institutions. After the democratic politics, one, two. And then they went into depth with regard to the Indian constitution at work. So if we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 NCRT textbooks, there is another called political theory. So from general, they made a broad overview. From that overview, they have come to specifics. So they are generating a thought in your mind and they are trying to give why these provisions are being made into our constitution so that you nourish those values into your mind. So, first take home point is UPSC Paul syllabus and NCRT textbooks, they have a direct connection with each other. Now, let us see how UPSC is asking the questions based on NCRT. In this particular slide, I gave you a question which is asked in the UPSC and then the textbook of NCRT where it was picked from. So, in India, judicial review implies. So, if you see class 11 NCRT book, Indian Constitution at Work and Chapter Judiciary, the exact answer, the lines, wordings, everything are there in this particular chapter. So, in this particular box, if you observe, this answer is directly given over here. It means the reference books for UPSC by and large starts with NCERT. And UPSC may make it, uh, I mean, twisted, but however, the basics of the concepts lie in NCRT. Right to vote and to be elected in India is A. Now, this is again given in two textbooks, the democratic politics in that there is a chapter called democratic rights. And this has clearly stated what are the different types of rights which are there in our constitution. So, the second point which we are going to make uh, is UPSC is asking the questions directly from NCRT textbooks. So, out of the following statements, choose the one that brings out the principle underlying the cabinet form of government. So, this cabinet form of government is one of the fundamental structure of Indian governance. In this context, what are the different political institutions which we have in India and what is the working of these institutions? It is there in democratic politics textbook and it has clearly explained how the cabinet form of government functions. So, by understanding of this, you can clearly understand what is the essence of cabinet form of government. So, if you prepare well these particular textbooks and if you come into classroom and a higher level of discussions you can easily cope up with. Many a times, fresh students, they come to the classes who did not study any NCRT. 
two major problems they face one they cannot shift their mind from study of science to social sciences so always they look for certainty in the answers and they don't have a mind of perspective and the second problem is uh, basics let's take teacher may spend some less time on explaining what is democracy probably teacher believes that you know what is democracy but democracy has a many meanings many perspectives to it so these meanings perspectives etc when you have that in your mind when teacher says a stronger civil society is essential for democracy then what is civil society you shall know the basic and a stronger civil society how it strengthens the democracy teacher may go on explaining that but if you don't know what is civil society obviously in the entire class you will be looking here and there so teachers may explain the civil society but your depth makes a difference today if you are seeing facebook twitter everywhere one party cadre or, or else using the fill the votes against the other party cadre or self promotion is happening is this civil society when teacher poses this question is the social media is becoming a new platform for the growth of the civil society and you have to immediately recollect okay can we call this particular political parties and the cadre of those political parties using fill the language against uh, an independent social activist is this detrimental to the functioning of civil society like that so many broader things have to open up in your mind these ncert textbooks exactly does the same they open up your wings they open up your mental frame of thinking so i request every student to start your preparation with ncert textbooks so make sure that before you join any coaching do these ncert textbooks perfectly and many a times when you don't have a mentor while you do ncert textbooks um, you were uh, haphazard in your direction so as i designed this particular course of ncert we ensured that every day you will have a doubt session why doubt session is necessary because today there is a doubt session on this topic it means that you will complete the study of the topic and you come with your doubts then your understanding becomes uh, much and much coordinated without the teacher okay i will see the video tomorrow day after tomorrow procrastination is a big disease and you will become the victim of that disease so that's why a perfect schedule has to be there you have to watch that particular video for the day and in the live session the teacher has to answer your doubts when this goes on simultaneously then your perfect preparation will happen after the doubt session is over you are supposed to take one particular test on the chapter so this way the preparation has to become seamless don't think that just watching a video or something without 360 degree ecosystem you can do these textbooks so these textbooks are very important again and again i am saying it this to you it will shift your mental frame from sciences towards the social sciences and second they are essential to form your basics strong to develop your arguments and perspectives so that's why we need to start doing these textbooks